Hey guys, it is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog. Today we're going to take a look at the best scanner apps for iPhone and iPad. If you see one that you like, you can find the links in the description below. The first up on our list and our number one scanning app is ScanBot. ScanBot is a really nicely laid out app and has a great modern looking UI with a lot of little touches. When you open it for the first time, it'll jump you straight into the scanner or you can pull down or hit the plus button to take a new scan manually. You have tons of different color options. So you can choose completely black and white, gray, full color or magic color, which is kind of like color, but all the white has been kind of flattened out. So it's keeping the color, but making it look more like a scan and better than just the simple photo. It has OCR built in as well as automatic edge detection. So it'll crop and deal with your images for you. It'll also deal with perspective. So if you take it at a funky angle, it'll still line it up and make it a standard page. There are tons of different naming options. You can simply name it how you'd like, or you can just pull from all these different tags. It can even create tags based on your current location as well as your calendar appointments. If you don't see something you like, you can create your own templates within the app. On the left hand side, you'll find the actual library. So all of the documents you've taken can be here. And those will obviously sync to a myriad of different services, including automatic syncing using iCloud Drive or automatic upload to stuff like Dropbox or Box. There are tons of different sharing options and workflows. So I can choose any of these different options or create my own workflows within the application. There are several different editing options so I can highlight anything that I need to. I can simply erase my highlights. I can lock the document so I can put a password on here if it's something that's sensitive. Or I can add a note so I can tap and add a little pop-up note to that. Get rid of that. And then lastly, I can sign. So I can add a signature to the application. And then anytime I need to sign something, I can tap on signature and insert it wherever I need to. So that's a really handy feature if you have something uh, like a contract or a lease that you've kind of scanned in here, you want to sign and get back to them. It does have built in folders so I can group these not only by name, but maybe recipes and business cards and receipts, however I need to. It has OCR. So here is kind of like the transcript of the document itself. OCR happens pretty quickly and it happens in the background. So you don't even notice that it's happening. But when it takes that OCR, it can actually pull stuff out of that. So on the left hand side, we have these different actions you can do. This is something that it pulled out. So it recognized a website and allows you to go right to it. It'll do the same thing if there is like a phone number, it'll allow you to call it uh, or an address if you need to save it. So ScanBot does come in as our number one application. You can pick it up for free or the pro version for many of these features for $4.99. Next up on the list is Scanner Pro from Reattle. Reattle makes a bunch of great apps, mostly for productivity, and this is no different. It works great and it's an all around solid addition if you're looking for a good scanning app. Unfortunately, they left out some of the features because they kind of hope you'll pick out some of their other productivity apps. So you may not have as many editing options here, but that's because they want you to buy their PDF program where you can do much more uh, than you would in even something like ScanBot. There are some editing options like using correction to compensate for any skewing or perspective. You can adjust the edges, so it will do automatically detect those edges, but you can adjust it if you need to. You can just the saturation and contrast. I really like these actions though, so you can create your own workflow similar to how you could in ScanBot, but you can have it automatically name it something, upload it to Dropbox, and send it as an email. So you can kind of do three things all at once with just one tap. Another unique feature is Radar. It'll actually scan through your photo library and pull out anything that looks like a document and allow you to import it straight here into Scanner Pro. This is available for $3.99 and it's a really solid option. Next up is our first free option that's still really nice and that's Scannable. And this is actually brought to you by Evernote. Scannable really shines as just a really simple and fast scanning application. It's not really meant to store anything, but really get it into Evernote or share it right away. So when you brought it into the app, pretty much the only thing you can do is scan something. It will save anything for 30 days down below, but then you either have to share it using the built-in share sheet or save it to something like your photo library or of course, Evernote. So again, this is not really meant for storing and kind of amassing like a huge amount of scanning items. It's really just to get them in there and get them to where they need to go. 
If you also happen to have a ScanSnap scanner like the Evernote edition, you can import those right into this app and then get them into Evernote. One really neat feature though is when it comes to contact cards or business cards. It'll actually using LinkedIn pull in all that contact information from that person like from their LinkedIn profile. So you can tie in your LinkedIn account and import that directly to your contact list. It's available for free. And next up is Genius Scan. Genius Scan is basically an honorable mention. It does a good job, but not as well as the top three items on our list. But there's nothing any major flaws to it. So if you do like the, the layout or some of its features like tags, which I really do like, uh, you may want to check it out. Using tags, I can tag things like this is a recipe, this is a receipt, this is a photo, this is a business card. Then when you import them, simply apply the tag and it makes it really simple to open that left-handed menu and just here are all of my receipts, here are all of my recipes, however you want to break it down. Um, but it is a really handy feature and it's not too complicated and it comes in the free version of this app. Unfortunately, a lot of things are locked into the pro version, like there's only a couple export options. Uh, but if you want any of the other ones that are grayed out, you're going to have to upgrade to pro for $6.99. But there are a lot of other features in Pro, such as adding Touch ID, Smart Naming, and Auto Upload. Again, the basic version of this is available for free with that upgrade for $6.99 to enable all the different features that they have. Last honorable mention here is going to be iScanner. iScanner does a lot of the things that the big players do, but just on a smaller scale. So it does have kind of the border detection. It doesn't do as good of a job as the others do, but it does have it in there and you can adjust them if you need to. So here I just took that image and it attempted and did a really great job of finding where it was. It doesn't have the best kind of skew manipulation that the others do, but if you are at an odd angle, it can help you. It does have some built-in editing, so I can adjust the contrast a little bit, and I can choose between color, black and white, and grayscale. So you do have more than one option when you're importing these. Another nicely included feature is the ability to add a signature. So I can store it in the app, choose a color, and then basically just drag and drop it wherever I need to on the document itself. So that covers all of our recommendations for best scanning apps with ScanBot in number one. Then we have Scanner Pro, Scannable, and then Genius Scan and iScanner coming in with honorable mentions. If there are any we missed, please go ahead and throw those suggestions up in the comments below. If you want one of these apps, you can find the link in the description. Otherwise, please subscribe so we can continue to produce videos like this. And until next time, this has been Andrew for iDownloadBlog.